Okay, we made a little cardboard template for this miter cut just to double triple check how much to pull how much to cut and then we'll transfer the angles over to our piece right there and we'll cut first we'll cut this cut it out real nice tune up the edges keep it nice keep it clean and then we'll cut to fit that piece right there and get her tacked in we'll do that on both sides that's the plan right now Okay, now we got the cut roughed in. I'll mark it out. This is the, uh, we call it the Ginzu. It's just uh, something that's not supposed to be in existence, but it works really well. And I, I could have fit this in here real nice if I take the handle off. But rule number one with this tool is you never, never use it without the handle and without the guard you will pay for it dearly so uh, that's why I go rough in the cut the best way I can so I can keep the handle on and hold the hold the tool real tight but now I got it marked out so we'll go clean up this cut and make it real nice and then we'll work on the other side cut out and we'll go tune her up a little bit more and then make the other side. cut this one from the front there's just no way to get in there real nice and easy so to get a nice precise line I use the marker to mark this like die like die him and then I'll just take this the calipers and make a scratch and that'll give me a decent guide Just tune it up once I get this metal out of my way so I just I make a mark with the marker and I scratch with the calipers to make a nice straight cut
now I'll just keep on going from the back side. I can see where I got to go to. Not far. It's like one eighth of an inch. And I'll take it all the way down now. piece make sure the arrows going the right way make sure it's sitting flat and repeat now I'll leave the line on this one in hopes that it will be a little snug and then I can just tune it as I go and get it to fit real nice. Okay so pretty close. It's a little a little snug but I'm gonna go just get the sander now and I'll just tune it up with either a file or a sander and then just get it to get in there just right. But it's pretty good, pretty close. Happy with that. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, I'm gonna put a couple tacks on this guy. Got him just where I want it. Stack them in place.
this side's all ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna go ahead and tack it in. Thanks so much for watching. That's all we got for you right now. That's how we put the back of the truck together. That's what we were thinking the whole time, and it turned out better than I had hoped. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Stay tuned. There's more videos coming. I record videos every day, and I, I post them up every day. So thanks for watching.